Stock markets around the world fell yesterday on track for their longest weekly losing streak since 2013 while U.S. Treasury prices rose along with demand for safer bets as better than expected U.S. economic data did little to assuage anxiety over disappointing corporate profits and trade wars. Wall Street plunged after earnings reports from Amazon.com and Alphabet rekindled the rush to dump technology and high-growth stocks. Both stocks had risen sharply on Thursday in advance of their earnings. European and Asian stocks led the way lower. The pan-European STOXX 600 index lost 1.26% and MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe shed 1.40%. The global index was more than 14% below its record closing high reached on January 26 and was set for its fifth straight week of losses, which had not happened since May 2013. Markets had only a temporary reprieve after data showed third-quarter U.S. economic growth slowing less than expected as a tariff-related drop in soybean exports was partially offset by the strongest consumer spending in nearly four years. While U.S. Treasury yields initially rose after the data, stock market volatility caused them to reverse course and fall to a three-week low of 3.074% as stocks dropped. Benchmark 10-year notes last rose 16.30 seconds in price to yield 3.0774% from 3.136% late on Thursday. The U.S. dollar slid alongside stocks after having risen to a two-month high in morning trade after the GDP data. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 339.24 points, or 1.36%, to 24,645.31, the S. The U.S. dollar rose against a basket of major currencies after the U.S. data. The dollar index fell 0.17%, with the euro up 0.07% to $1.1382. While a strong greenback benefits U.S. assets, it also raises the cost of imports and exports, which hurts growth. The net effect tends to be neutral. The Japanese yen strengthened 0.75% versus the greenback at 111.57 per dollar, while sterling was last trading at 1.2832, up 0.13% on the day. Doubt grew about whether the UK and the European Union can clinch a Brexit deal. Bloomberg, citing people familiar with the matter, reported yesterday that Brexit talks were on hold because Prime Minister Theresa May's cabinet was not close enough to agreement on how to proceed. Bear markets, a price drop of 20% or more from recent peaks, have increased across indexes and individual stocks since the start of this year. Oil prices were headed for a third weekly loss after Saudi Arabia warned of oversupply and the slump in stock markets and concern about trade clouded the outlook for fuel demand. U.S. crude rose 0.01% to $67.34 per barrel and Brent was last up 0.4% to $77.22 on the day.